Andrew Tucker, and welcome to Andrew Tucker World. What's going on, all my great people? What's going on, all my boxing fans? So I ran across an article, and I guess Bob Arum had his opinion. You know, he, you know, he, he said what he had to say. You know, it is what it is. Um, but it was on BoxingScene.com. Bob Arum, if Wilder hits him on the chin, it's goodbye, Joshua. <laughs> Bob Arum hopes Tyson Fury eventually gets the opportunity to beat both Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua. If Wilder and Joshua wind up boxing each other before Fury faces Wilder in a rematch or Joshua in the all-UK showdown, Fury's co-promoter predicted Wilder would knock out Joshua. The 6'6", six 7'7", six Wilder, 40-0, won 39 KOs, arguably is the most devastating puncher in boxing. But the 6'6", six 245-pound six, Joshua has knocked out 21 of his 22 professional opponents. Joshua power aside, Aram, Aram isn't confident Joshua's chin could withstand Wilder's exceptional power. Joshua, you know, it remains to be seen. Aram told World Boxing News for a story posted to its website Thursday, his chin isn't the greatest. If Wilder hit him on the chin, then it's goodbye Joshua. I think it remains to be seen. So I'm not going to finish reading this article. Um, I'm just going to say this. So, you're saying all it takes, Bob Aram, you're saying all it takes is one shot, one shot from Deontay Wilder, then it's goodbye Anthony Joshua. I'm just going to say this. Anthony Joshua is a good fighter. Is a great fighter. Anthony Joshua has progressed as a fighter. And the reason why I say he has progressed as a fighter is because I look at the last fight. Um, I look at the last fight he had, and that was against um, Alexander Povetkin. He did a good job at displaying skills and showing you that he is a great fighter. You know, he's a good boxer. You know, he has skills. You know, He's a uh, he's he's a good technical fighter with power, you know, and um, that's good. Like I said, once again, that's fighting on the it's good at fighting on the inside, good on fight, that's good at fighting on the outside. Know how to work his jab, know how to set up his punches, know how to put his punches together, and he has power, and he's very strong, and he's very dangerous. So you're saying, Bob Arum, um, all it takes is one punch from Deontay Wilder. Well, all it takes is one uh, one punch from Anthony Joshua. What I can say, all it takes is, because uh, he put he he can he, he sometimes he can end you with a two punch combination, or sometimes he can end you end you with a three punch combination. You know, we're talking about a devastating, a devastating left uppercut, a, a devastating right uppercut. We're talking about a devastating uh, left hook. We're talking about a devastating right hook. We're talking about a devastating jab. We're talking about a devastating right hand. You know what I'm saying? Uh, straight right lead. You know what I'm saying? I'm, he just dangerous with his. He dangerous. Period. He's a dangerous, hard hitting machine. He's a dangerous puncher. And we already know. De and um, Deontay Wilder already know. He already know that uh, Anthony Joshua is very dangerous. He know that's not his. That's why he's not rushing into taking the fight with Anthony Joshua. He's not rushing and taking the fight because he know. How dangerous the fight between him and Joshua is. Deontay Wilder know. He knows that Joshua is a very, very skilled elite heavyweight. He's very skilled. He's an elite heavyweight. Very dangerous. You know, he have never it all it takes is one one or two shots from Anthony Joshua to take out Deontay Wilder. Yeah, I can I can I can honestly agree with Bob Arum. Yeah, it does take one shot, <coughs> you know, from Deontay Wilder to hurt Anthony Joshua. But one of the biggest punchers, one of the biggest punchers with devastating punching power in boxing, you know, um, was Vladimir Klitschko. Anthony Joshua took 
a very hard shot from Vladimir Klitschko and went down but was able to get back up. No one survives no one survives that shot. No one has survived that shot of getting hit by Vladimir Klitschko. No one. No one has survived getting hit with that devastating right hand. You know, he had power in both hands, left and the right. No one has survived. Anthony Joshua got back up to finish Vladimir Klitschko. Now, you can you can you can argue you can argue with me about this, but and argue the fact that Vladimir Klitschko and, and um, Deontay Wilder both hit. They both are very powerful, powerful punchers. You know what I'm saying? And have power in 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 in, they, in that in in their right hand. They both have power, devastating, uh, devastating power in their right hands. In their right hand, you know. So they they both are big punchers. You know what I'm saying? Um, Vladimir. Uh, dangerous with the left and the right. Wilder just have Wilder only has that right. You know the left. You know, you know might have power in the left. You know, but other than that, uh, I mean, but y'all can honestly agree with me that no one other you know no one uh, other than Anthony Joshua was able to uh, get past that devastating right hand Vladimir Klitschko had. You know, no one. You know what I'm saying? Like no one was able to get 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 past that right hand. So yeah, Wilder do have a devastating right hand. You know that can end that can end you with one shot. But um, nothing nothing is wrong. You know, with Anthony Anthony Joshua's chin. His chin is not like you say suspect. And Anthony Joshua can take he can take good shots and he can and he can. If he was able to take Vladimir Klitschko shot, shot, and bounce back and get back up to finish the job, you know what I mean? Then trust me, he can he can take Wilder shots. You know what I mean? But he's not going to be focused. His focus is not going to be getting hit by any punches from Wilder. His focus is going to be, you know, avoiding because he's going to come in this fight. He's gotten better as a fighter, so he's going to come in this fight. You know, taking a little bit out of Fury's pay, uh, a little, little bit out of a little bit out of Fury's book, and um, and most definitely do some good head movement. You know, use good head movement and frustrate Wilder, because Wilder gonna all Wilder gonna do is, you know, come in with a little come in with a little ugly jab to try to set up the right hand, and it's not gonna be it's not gonna um, it's not gonna he's not gonna be able to do that because Anthony Joshua is gonna be gonna be doing some good. Is going to be using his head and doing some good head movement, you know what I'm saying, and doing some good lateral, have good lateral movement going on and stuff like that, you know. Um, it's going to be able to move and you know work his angles and, and throw punches from different angles and stuff like that. There, that's just how good Anthony Joshua is, being able to throw punches from different angles and being able to mix it up, go to the head, go to the body, and I believe I see I see Anthony Joshua frustrating. Deontay Wilder. Honestly, I see him frustrating Deontay Wilder because he's better. He's the better fighter. He's the better technical fighter. Like I say, he's good at he's good at you know fighting on the inside. If it if it had, if the fight end up being a brawl, we already know that Anthony Joshua uh, timing is better and he's going to be beating Deontay Wilder to the punch because he throw his punches are he's uh, more accurate. You know his punches are more accurate and more. He's going to be better. He's going to be more effective. You know. Deontay Wilder throw swing and throw wild punches. So we already know that Anthony Joshua is going to be beating him to the punch. You know what I'm saying? So like I say, so like I was saying, you know, you know, all it takes is one or two shots from Anthony Joshua to take out Deontay Wilder. And I agree it takes one shot and Wilder can get you out of there. But I don't see Wilder getting Anthony Joshua out of there. He's just too strong. He's too smart. And he's going to be able to throw Wilder off his game just like Fury did. He's not going to make mistakes and going to plan around like Tyson Fury did and end up getting caught with a good shot. End up getting caught with a good shot. Fury was playing. That's the only reason why Fury got that not uh, Wilder got that knockdown on Fury. Um, you know, it's because Fury was um, playing around and um, um, bending down. You know, trying to duck. You know, what I'm saying and acting a fool and end up getting caught. You know, but 
Deont uh the De uh Anthony Joshua is not gonna be playing those type of games and he's not gonna make those same mistakes. He's gonna come in there and mean business. And I can see him I can even see Anthony Joshua bullying um Deontay Wilder, pushing him back, you know what I'm saying? Um using this good using this jab, setting up good punches, hooks, uppercuts, went um uh good, you know, setting up good shots, you know, working off his jab and setting up good shots, putting together good accurate two punch combinations and stuff like that. And so I can see him just outboxing Deontay Wilder. And like I say, yeah, and uh, Bob Aram, you know, he said he said what he had to say. I mean it takes one shot, good one good shot, you know, and it can it can be the end of the night, but it's not gonna happen that way. And even if Deontay Wilder catches uh Anthony Joshua, I still believe that um I still believe that Anthony Joshua's gonna be able to take that shot. Um and he, and, but he's not going to be taking too many shots from Deontay Wilder because he's going to come in that fight being smart, and he's going to use some good head movement, and he's going to frustrate Deontay Wilder, and then he's going to start breaking him down. I believe he's going to work on some things, go to the body, go to the head, mix up his punches, and wear Deontay Wilder, and he's going to wear Deontay Wilder down, and then end up getting a stoppage. That's how I see it. So, you guys, you know, um, most definitely. Uh, comment. Let me know how you guys feel about what Bob Arum had to say and what Bob Arum is saying. You know, uh, you guys make sure you hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drop. You guys make sure um, you um, most definitely share this video, like the video, comment, and make sure you guys subscribe. Andrew Tucker, Andrew Tucker World, I'm out. Much love and respect. Peace and God bless.